So it behooves you to begin to pay attention to us. It behooves you to stop ignoring us. It behooves you to accept the life rafts that we're trying to give to you. I am not a hater. I am not sadistic. I am not the type of person that takes pleasure in hurting people. I'm not the type of person that takes pleasure in dehumanizing someone. I'm not the type of person to make you feel like shit in order to make me feel big and superior. No. However, I am here to give you this word by the way of the Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, the living word, the eternal word, the eternal laws of love and life has authority over all the ideologies and or belief systems of mortal men upon this earth. And you are deluding yourself if you seriously believe, if you seriously think that written words in the pages of a book written by a mortal man will trump what the eternal living power has written upon our heart and within our inner part, in our conscience, what he said in the beginning. Okay? You're out your mind. What the hell is wrong with you? You are literally self-deluded. Okay? Also that you can continue in your wickedness, not having to come face to face with your transgressions. You suppress your conscience. You won't listen to it. That's why we have been raised up. Because you people have been tuning out your conscience. So now we're here to make it very crystal clear to you the truth of the Most High. The oracles of the Most High. Because you've been ignoring it. It's within you already. But you're ignoring it. For the wisdom of this world. And all while you're doing it. You hate on those of us. Who are raised up by the living power. To give you this word. You enjoy making us suffer. Y'all yeah, don't put it like that. Because your haters watch closer than your enemies. And best believe that your haters got money. Oh yeah, they got money. See, because they, bruh, Satan is rewarding them. Okay? They're agents of Satan. And how does Satan operate? With the physicality, with money, with wealth, with greed, with, with selfishness, with all of these things, okay? So yeah, they're the first one to click my videos. They're the first ones, they're the first ones to listen. Probably to the whole video, bro. So that they can hear all the little nitty gritty details of my life. So that they can sit back and gloat. About all the shit that I have to go through. All the suffering that I'm constantly having to deal with. See, they want to talk amongst themselves. Create, create these theories in their mind on a reason why I'm suffering. As if they know me. As if they know my true dedication to the Most High. As if they truly know how I live my life. As if they really seen the inner chambers of my dwelling place. When I'm in my secret place with the Most High. As if they're there. Bro, 
You people are pretentious and self-righteous, and I suggest that you humble yourself. Do you not see the collapse all around you? Do you not feel the tension in the air? Do, do you not smell that something is on the horizon? Aren't you uneasy? See, I'm not uneasy. No matter what the circumstances are in my physical life, guess what? I ain't got an uneasy feeling whatsoever. I am in total peace. I am in total peace. Believe it or not, I don't care. I am the one that have to live my life. I am the one in this mortal body. I am the one experiencing this existence. So I think it matters more so my experience then it does your opinion. <sighs> but you people are on edge and you're, you're uneasy. You should ask yourself why that is. You should ask yourself why you feel so nervous. What you so nervous about? Why don't you ask yourself? Because you, you, you're just so unsure. You're unsure of like when things are going to go back to normal or if they're going to go back to normal. Well, I can assure you. It's not going to go back to your normal. Because your normal is now over. Okay? Forever. You're never going to see that again. Okay? Never. You're never going to see it again. 